hi guys welcome to quit funny channel today i'm going to teach point of sale system step by step part 8 tutorial in our last tutorial we discussed about this functionality or functionality of its work and in this tutorial i'm going to teach more important part of point of sales which is the item okay this is the part I am going to teach in this tutorial series. This is, if you take item, it consists of two parts, this menu. One is a brand, so one is a brand, another one is a category. Okay, let me discuss about those stuff before going, uh, going to the coding. Let's, I draw some tables here. Here category, category means here this is the TV, TV will be the category, AC that will be the category, washing machine will be the category, mobile category, okay. These are, this, let me remove this, there are four categories in my shop, consider as this is a simple uh, small shop, I have a system, I have four items, one is a TV, another one is a AC, another one is a uh, washing machine and mobile these are including in category okay these are including including category each and every category have a branch uh, brand if it is tv it has various brand hp or ab tos ip i just uh, wrote some example here here the tv mean it has a lot of brands names hp tos ab and ip okay the same thing happening in the ac and washing machine also it has a brand okay if you uh, go to the shop you you might have seen lot of brand about the tv or ac machine or washing machine or mobile or there are a lot of brand okay the same brand here i assign here the one brand it's not there tv there are so many various brands are there okay uh, where are you going to buy a tv you must select the brand and you can get it okay the same brand i am putting here okay what is the brand you need like that okay here tv the brands the there are four brands are there you can choose the brand and you can buy okay this aco ac also the same thing and the washing machine also same thing mobile also same thing okay now what i'm going to do is here i have two tables one is a category table another one is a brand table this category table this is the id first column will be id it is automatically auto generated this one will be the second column will be the name we have to write all the category names here the box this will be the description description mean you you can write here tv only like that image if you want put image otherwise uh, you can leave it as a blank in this uh, this is uh, this tutorial i'm not going to add the image okay this is the uh, my next tutorial i will planning to add the image and show it to you okay this tutorial i'm not going to uh, add the images description i have to uh, i have to i'm going to create three tables in my database one is a id another one is a name another one is a description okay Okay, let me go to my backend part first and create the database for category and after complete the category, after that I am going to create the database for brand. Okay, first add the category for our shop. Okay, what are the uh, items available first. Okay, this shop, the point of sale means this kind of shop. Okay, first I am going to add the category. Man, uh, what are the category items available in our shop? This is a small shop. We have four categories each and every category has a various brand okay okay let's move into my database part um, i already you make sure your apache server is start or not or it started already here you go to go and type localhost will be your database server
okay this will be the localhost here click on the my admin this will be your database dashboard here i already created the database which name is pos n okay last tutorials i created the database already when we doing uh, when we were doing the login form so click on the database which which name we created select the name first okay carefully and select them this is the database name we created our last project posen select the one and here you can notice that we have only the login form you can check check the uh, query also uh, says, uh, go to the um, okay so just click on the login here you can check the username and password also okay, this is the username and password we can log the system the same database click back to the database same database i'm going to add the another table which is a category okay okay let's add the another table which is a category this category this, this will this one will be the second my second table which name is category how many columns we need i don't need this time for this project for image i need these three columns okay one is id another one is a name another one is a description okay okay let's go to the i uh, write the i type the name uh, for the table category here ask how many columns we need uh, how many columns let's enter as three because here three tables available for i enter here three and here click go okay this is our data type we have to give the we have to add the columns names the first column name will be id we have to type the select the appropriate data type data type in, in the integer leave it as integer it's a default one here 10 as 11 and here the id you always select as a primary key so go to index primary key and go then you have to check the auto increment also here i explained in my last tutorial how it works auto increment okay you no need to enter anything else for the id column it is automatically putting the number okay after that here another one will be name data type will be watcher here you can give the character also 255 okay another one we have a description so description description you have to select text text me you can type a lot of things in the description tab okay you have to uh, describe the item okay so you can uh, you, there is a long text text uh, so that you have to select as a text you no need to put the number okay you can the long text you can type description you have to describe this item now since the tv you have to describe at the uh, this column okay so that you have to leave uh, you have to select the data type, type as text okay you leave it leave it as black here okay it's a rich text it's considered as a rich text and same that's it that's it the thing you have to do Uh, we successfully created the category table here you can see this is your database name which is posen you have two tables one is logging another one is category i hope you guys you understood this data uh, database structure i explained so far if you like my channel subscribe me thank you for watching